In this video, we're going to write a C++ program to find the largest number in a file. So here we have a file with one number per line. We're going to assume this is the file format that our program is expected to handle. And the largest number in this file is 9.4. So we want our program to output this largest number. We'll prompt the user to enter in the name of the file. So we'll have string file name to store the name of the file that's entered. Then we'll prompt the user with cout and file name colon. We'll store the file name they enter into the file name string variable using get line and then cn with file name. Then we want to open the file with this file name. To do that, we're going to use the fstream library. So up here, we're going to include the fstream library. So with this library, we can create ifstream objects, which allow us to open files and read the contents of those files. So down here, we'll declare an ifstream object. We'll have here, ifstream file. Then to open the file, we'll use the open method. So we'll have file.open and then file name. And this will open the file with the file name that's been provided by the user. We do need to open the file before we can access the contents of the file. It's possible that opening the file could fail. So for example, if the user provides a file name for a file that does not exist, we can check for that using the fail method. So we can have here, if file.fail returns true, where fail is going to return true if there's been a problem opening the file. In that case, we're going to exit the program with an error message and error exit status. So we'll have here, cout error opening file to inform the user what's gone wrong. And then we'll have an end line. And then we'll have return one to exit the program. Returning one instead of returning zero is a signal to the shell or the terminal that something has gone wrong in the execution of our program. So if the file has been opened successfully, then we want to read each number in the file. And we want to keep track of the largest number that we've found in the file. So to help with that, we'll declare some new variables. We'll have here double number is equal to zero. And number is going to store each number that we read from the file. We'll also declare a variable max. And max is going to store the largest number that we've found in the file so far. Now the very first number that the program reads from the file is going to be a bit special in the sense that it's also going to be our initial max value. Because once we've read a number from the file, we have a largest number. Until then, we don't really have a largest number yet. We'll declare a bool variable called first number to keep track of whether we're still reading in this first number. So we'll assign the value true to indicate that. Next, we'll create a while loop to read each number from the file. So we'll have here while file and then the stream extraction operator and then number. So this operation here is going to read the next number from the file and store it into the number variable. It's going to evaluate to true, except for when we reach the end of the file. At that point, this operation is going to evaluate to false and the loop is going to stop. So in the loop body, we can examine each number. So we'll have here, first off, if first number is true. That means we've just read in the first number from the file. And that means by default, it's also the largest number that we've read from the file so far. So we'll have here, max is equal to number. Now at this point, we have read a number from the file. So we're also going to set first number to false to indicate that. Now if first number is false, we want to check to see if the number we've read in is greater than max. In other words, have we found a new largest number? So we'll have an else if condition for that. We'll have else if number is greater than max, then we've found a new largest number and we'll update max. 
we'll have max is equal to this new largest number. So when this loop is done, we'll have checked each number in the file and max will be set to the largest number in the file. We can then output that number. So down here, we'll have C out and then max colon, and then we'll output max followed by an end line. Now it is possible that the file contains no numbers. We can check for that case. If the file contains no numbers, first number will still be set to true. So we'll have here, if first number is true, then we'll output no numbers in file, followed by an end line. Otherwise, we'll output the largest number. So we'll have else, and we'll put this C out inside that else block. And the last thing we should do is close our access to the file. So we'll have here file.close to close the file. We can now save our program and compile it and test it out. So first we'll compile it, then we'll run it. We'll enter in file.txt for the file name and we get 9.4. And that is correct because 9.4 is the largest number in that file. So this is how we can find the largest number in a file using C++. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.